free stochastic music. Art and above all, music has a fundamental function, which is to catalyze the sublimation that it can bring about through all means of expression. It must aim through fixations, which are landmarks, to draw towards the total exaltation in which the individual mingles, losing his consciousness in truth immediate, where enormous and perfect. If a work of art succeeds in this undertaking even a single moment, it attains its goals. This tremendous truth is not made of objects, emotions or sensations, it is beyond these. As, as Beethoven's Seventh Symphony is beyond music. This is why art can lead to realms that the religion still occupies for some people. With this transmutation of everyday artistic material which transforms trivial products into meta-art is secret. The possessed reach is without knowing its mechanisms. Not a struggle in the ideological and technical uh, mainstream of their epoch, which constitutes the perishable climate in a stylistic fashion. Keeping our eyes fixed on this supreme meta-artistic goal, we shall attempt to define in a more modest manner paths which can lead to it from our point of departure, which is the magma of contradictions in present music. There exists a historical parallel between European music and the successive attempts to explain the world by reason. Music of antiquity, causal and deterministic, was already strongly influenced by the schools of Pythagoras and Plato. Plato insisted on the principle of causality, for it is impossible for anything to come into being without cause. Timaeus' strict causality lasted until the 19th century when it underwent a brutal and fertile transformation as a result of statistical theories in physics. Since antiquity, the concepts of chance, tiki and disorder ataxia and disorganization were considered as the opposite and negation of reason, logos, order taxis and organization systasis. It is only recent that knowledge has been able to penetrate chance and to and has discovered how to separate its, its degrees. In other words, to rationalize it progressive, progressively, without, however, succeeding in definitive and total explanation of the problem of pure chance. After a time lag of several decades, atonal music broke up the tonal function and opened up a new path parallel to the physical sciences but at the same time constricted by the virtually absolute determinism of serial music. It is therefore not surprising that the presence or absence of the principle of causality first in philosophy and then in the sciences might influence musical composition. It caused it to follow paths that appear to be in divergent, but which in fact coalesced in probability theory and finally in poly polyvalent logic which are kinds of generalization and enrichments of the principle of causality, explanation of the world, and consequently of the sonic phenomena which surrounds us, of, or which may be created, necessitated, and profited from the enlargement of the principle of causality, the basis of which enlargement is formed by the law of large numbers. And this law employs an asymptotic evolution towards a stable state, towards a kind of goal of stokos, which comes when come the adjective stochastic. But everything in pure determinism or in less pure indeterminism is subjected to the fundamental operational laws of logic, which were disentangled by mathematical thought under the title of general al algebra. These laws operate on isolated states or on sets of elements with the aid of operations and the most primitive of which are the union, the intersection and the negation. Equivalence, implication and quantifications are elementary relations, relations from which all current science can be constructed. Music then may be defined as an organization of these elementary operations and relations between sonic entities are between functions of sonic entities. 
we understand the first rate position which is occupied by set theory not only for the construction of new works but also for analysis and better comprehension of the works of the past of the past in the same way a stochastic construction or an investigation of history with the help of stochastics cannot be carried through without the help of logic the queen of the sciences though i would even venture to suggest of the arts or its mathematical form algebra for everything that is said here on the subject it is also valid for all forms of art painting sculpture architecture films etc from this general from this very general fundamental point of view from which we wish to examine and make music primary time appears as a wax of or clay on which operations and relations can be inscribed and engraved first for the purposes of work then for and then for communication with a third person on this level the asymmetric non-commutative character of time is used b after a does not equal a after b i.e lexicographic order commutative metric time symmetric symmetrical is subjected to the same logical laws and can therefore also aid organizational speculations what is remarkable is that these fundamental notions which are necessary for construction are found in man from his tenderest age and is fascinating to follow their evolution as Jean Piaget has done uh, after this short preamble on generalities we shall enter into the details of an approach to musical composition which I have developed over several years I call it stochastic in honor of probability theory which has served as a logical frame framework and as a method of resolving the conflicts and knots encountered the first talk is to construct an abstraction from all inherited conventions and to exercise a fundamental critique of acts of thought and their materialization what in fact does the musical composition offer strictly on the construction level it offers a con collection of sequences which it which it wishes to be causal when for simplification the major scale implied its hierarchy of tonal functions tonics dominance and subdominance around which the other notes gravitated it constructed it constructed in a highly deterministic manner linear processes or melodies on the one hand and simultaneous events or chords on the other then the serialists of the vienna school not having known how to master logically the indeterminism of atonality returned to an organization which was extremely causal and strict its sense more abstract than that of tonality however this abstraction was their great contribution messian generalized this pr process and took a great step in systematizing the abstraction of the of all the variables of instrumental music what is paradoxical is that he did this in the modal field he created a multimodal music which was which immediately found imitators in serial music and the outset messian's abstract system systematization found its most justifiable embodiment in multi-serial music it is from here that the post-war neo serialists have drawn their inspiration they could now following the vienna school and messian with some occasional borrowing from Stravinsky and Debussy, walk on with our ears shut and proclaim a good truth greater than the others. Other movements were growing stronger. Shiva among them was the systematic exploration of sonic entities, new instruments, and noises. Varese was a pioneer in this field and electromagnetic music has been a beneficiary electric music being a branch of instrumental music however in electromagnetic music problems of construction and morpho morphology were not faced conscientiously multi-serial music a fusion of the multimodality of messian and the viennese school remained nevertheless at the heart of the fundamental problem of music but by 1954 it was already in the process of deflation for the completely deterministic complexity 
on the operations of composition and of the works themselves produced an auditory and ideological nonsense. I described the inevitable conclusion in the crisis of serial music. Linear polyphony destroys itself by its very complexity. What one hears is in reality nothing but a mass of notes. Is nothing but a mass of notes in various registers. The enormous complexity prevents the audience from following the intertwining of the lines and has its macroscopic effect an irrational and fortuitous dispersion of sounds over the whole extent of the sonic spectrum. There is consequently a contradiction between the polyphonic linear system and the heard result, which is a surface of mass. This contradiction inherent in polyphony will disappear when the independence of sounds is total. In fact, when linear combinations and their polyphonic superpositions no longer operate, what will count will be the statistical mean of isolated states and of transformations of sonic components at a given moment. Macroscopic effect can be controlled, can then be controlled by the mean of the movements of elements which we select. The result is the introduction of the notion of probability, which implies in this particular case combinatory calculus. Here and here in a few not words is the possible escape route from the linear category in musical thought. This article served as a bridge for my introduction of mathematics and music. For if ta thanks to complexity, the strict deterministic causality which the neo serialists postulated was lost, then it was necessary to re replace it by a more general causality by probabilistic logic which would contain strict serial causality as a particular case. This is the function of stochastic science. Stochastic studies and formulates the law of large numbers which has already been mentioned, the laws of rare events, different aleatory procedures, etc. As a result of the impasse in serial music, as well as other causes, I originated in 1954 a music constructed from the principle of indeterminism. Two years later, I named it stochastic music. The laws of the calculus of probabilities entered composition through musical necessity.